Am I enjoying Fury? Yeah, it's an awesome game. Fury is a boss rush game, meaning it's all about the boss fights. There's some walking and talking with a bit of exposition in between fights, but that's not the focus. In fact, the walking is kinda boring, and I would just prefer a cutscene because the dialogue sometimes sets up the next fight quite well, and it's pretty much the only chance you have at understanding anything that's happening in this world. But luckily I found a button that makes my character walk automatically, so I kinda did watch these sections as cutscenes, but the timing was odd sometimes, with long silences with no purpose other than to fill in space because the whole dialogue has to last the entire way. Proper cutscenes in engine would be totally fine and I don't think it would be a whole lot of work to be honest. But with that out of the way, let's talk about what makes this game so awesome. You're a samurai with a laser gun. You can shoot bullets, you can charge a shot, you can slash your enemies, you can charge your slash, you can parry some enemies' attacks and projectiles, and you have a dodge move. Your abilities remain the same from start to finish, the game is all about mastering these. It's all about knowing when you should be dodging, when you should be parrying, when you should be attacking and how you attack as well. The whole game feels like a great mix between a bullet hell and a fast paced hack and slash, alternating between the two, sometimes extremely quickly, making for a frenetic game of reflexes but also one that allows plenty of planning ahead. Every boss follows a set pattern of attacks. These can have a bit of randomness to them, but after a couple of seconds you know what all their attacks look like. But they also like to switch things up on you, because they all have different phases. In fact, some of them have quite a lot of phases. This one for instance has 6 different phases represented by the squares on the top right, and each time they change phases they'll get new moves, change up their patterns, sometimes even physically transform or pull a new weapon out of their arsenal. To add insult to injury, for this boss and a few others, for each phase she has two health bars. During the first she'll try to keep her distance and shoot you with projectiles, for the second you enter a melee mode, where you can't shoot your gun but you can charge up your sword and do tons of damage that way. The gameplay changes significantly when you enter this melee mode, it feels less like a bullet hell and more like a one on one sword fight or whatever she's using. You have health, meaning if you get hit too many times you die, when you die you lose a life and you restart the phase where you died. If you lose all the lives, then you go back to the beginning of the boss fight. But don't worry, you can gain life by shooting the green projectiles, parrying attacks or by defeating a phase of the boss. Every boss you'll encounter will be different, and here comes my big criticism. Even though they're all different, not all feel unique. They have different personalities, they each have their place in the world, but mechanically only a few of these bosses stood out. All of them have different attack patterns, but a lot of their attacks are the same. It's either melee, projectiles you can shoot or deflect, or projectiles that you need to dodge. Their attack patterns will be different, you'll need to learn each fight individually, but you kind of already know their abilities. There are a few exceptions of course, this guy called the Time Master had something so unique to him that made his fights very memorable. I don't want to spoil what it is, in fact that's why I'm only showing you footage of the first boss, but he was one of the few that made me really happy to see the game expand its mechanics in such a way. That's the one thing I'd really like to see more of in this game, these unique abilities that really stand out. They really did a great job distinguishing each boss visually and characteristically, but some of them needed that extra step with the mechanics. Graphically I think the game looks outdated, but the art style saves it from drowning. It's true you don't need a lot of detail when your game is so fast and you're fighting from this perspective, but during cutscenes or the walk and talk sections, some character models looked kinda rough. The art style is simply amazing though, which made me wish the graphics helped it shine instead of the other way around. All the characters in Fury were designed by Takashi Okazaki, the creator of Afro Samurai, but I feel he was a much bigger influence in this game other than the characters. The characters look awesome, you've got a friend who's a guy in a rabbit costume. But the whole tone of the game itself also reminded me a lot of Afro Samurai, as you wander alone with this guy constantly talking to you, the same way Samuel L. Jackson talked to Afro, just with a bit less sense of humor. I really like the soundtrack as well, it has this 80s music vibe to it, kinda similar to Hotline Miami if you will, but I think it was kinda displaced, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it fit with the game theme at all. But I like the music, so hey, I, I like the soundtrack. It was a cool game, the boss fights were awesome, took me about 3.5 hours to beat it, but the game gives you plenty of reasons to replay it. You unlock a harder difficulty, speedrun mode, and it's got multiple endings that you might want to see through. Which is the main reason why I'm not running a review on this, I'd like to spend a bit more time with those unlock features. It plays well, it runs at 60 FPS on PlayStation 4, which frankly this style of game really needs, and it costs 25 bucks which is totally worth it. Oh, and it's free if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber. If you guys got any thoughts on Fury yourselves, let me know in the comments below, and as usual, while you're down there, click that like button and subscribe for more gaming goodness. I've been Globku, thank you for watching, boy.